guys we just got to the National Farm Machinery show up here in Louisville Kentucky it's been a long morning already but I'm stoked to be here for this whole day can't wait to share it with you guys it's a lot of cool lawnmower brands farm equipment a lot of cool stuff can't wait to share it with y'all see y'all in here in a little while Alright guys, so we're here at the Country Clipper booth looking at this machine and any of you guys that were at the GIE Expo are going to remember this little, if you got a chance to drive it, you're going to remember this little gyroscope here. And basically, it's just your one single control lever versus your two on a standard zero turn. It's definitely a learning curve to get used to driving, but I definitely think it's a new industry kind of standard on these machines. It's a pretty solid design, definitely something to get used to compared to what you're normally used to running. you guys with this X Mark 96 inch machine here gas and diesel version this thing for I think it's thirty three thousand dollars for the gas machine this right here I don't think it'll fit through too many gates but I'm telling you if you're mowing big acreage properties this is seriously the way to go they, they pretty well knocked it out of the park for the price on this machine if you have you know a use for a 96 inch I think it'll be a, definitely a, a pretty solid addition to your commercial fleet by far this thing is definitely a tank as it's built. This is the gas version we're looking at here, but I'm telling you, I think I could take one of these home and enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think of this 96 on down in the comments, guys. this fall but if you were you're gonna remember this beast of a machine right here this Dixie Chopper special edition right here I'm, I'll tell you what it's not for sale but I would definitely like to have this sitting in my garage people go for all these nice cars and everything toys but I don't know about you I'll take this in my garage all day long over any nice little car let me know guys what do you think about this you think we could get this painted I think we could totally go for this Throw your comments down below on what you think about this mower. Alright guys, 
Uh, so we're still sitting here in the Dixie Chopper booth, and they just decided to go ahead and throw the full-on exhaust pipes and all this craziness on the back of this mower. I tell you, I think I might could get through my yards just a little bit quicker. And you know, it's all about productivity. So I think that this could be a, a valuable business expense to make it useful for productivity purposes, right? I think I need the demo one just for some R&D purposes, you know? I think I could definitely get one of these out in the Tennessee Hills and be totally fine, guys. Let me know what you think. Drop it down in the comments. Tell me what you think. Alright, so I know a lot of you guys in the industry are using these Toro grandstands. And I'm just curious to know what you guys think about these machines. I know a lot of you guys run the bagging system and a couple of you guys on YouTube, Spencer's Lawn Care is one of them that runs this. What do you guys think of the bagging? Does it, does it work like your standard vacuum bagger or how does that work? How does that compare? And also on these machines, what do you guys think on the safety in the handle versus the safety that's in the platform? I don't know 100% what I think about that, about this part right here, but honestly, I haven't had the chance to run one, so I'm looking to hopefully run one, possibly, maybe this coming season, just as a demo and see what I think about it. You let me know. Toro has a lot of stuff though, a lot of cool stuff. Got their walk behinds out here, snow blowers, this big machine right here. I don't even know how big this thing is. This thing is massive. I want to say this right here, $32,000, guys. That right there. 32 grand. I'll tell you what, you could get through some serious residential yards with that though, I'll tell you what. Let me know what you guys think of the Toro brand. Put it down in the comments let me know tonight, alright? I appreciate it guys, thank you. guys so we're down here at the national farm machinery show in louisville kentucky we're checking out these bad boy mowers and i got a chance to run this both at the gie expo their uh, outlaw standard or the revolt my bad uh, the revolt standard i ran this at gie and i had it out as a demo over the summer uh this year mowing the yards and this is to be honest with you for the price probably one of the better standards i've had the chance of running uh being this is the 36 model as shown here but the 48 and 54 is also what they make. Both coming with Kawasaki motors, FX series, of course, uh, commercial grade motor. And on these motors, I was talking our mowers. I was talking about the 48 inch is what I'm interested in. 48 inch is only like $6,100 uh, cash price is what the, I believe what the guy told me. And at that price, honestly, you're comparing the eight and ten thousand dollar lawn mowers to it. And I honestly don't think you can beat it with how strong this machine is built. I mean. That is a seriously tough looking mower. Probably one of the better mowers too. I'm not saying I'm buying a mower for its looks, but I'm telling you right now, this looks good. Tennessee Orange is good for me. I personally think on this standard mower, I think it's a phenomenal machine after running it, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it, and if any of you guys run it, drop that down in the comments below. All right, guys, so we're at the Farm Machinery Show here in Louisville, Kentucky, sitting here at the uh, Walker Mowers booth with Mr. Tim Cromley, and he's going to give us a nice rundown of this 52-inch walker. A couple quick things that make the walker different. The, the deck is a true floating deck, so I can take this 190-pound deck and I can, t I can pick it up like that. You see how it flexes as well? These counterweight springs put the weight of the deck back on the drive tires. That makes it... Um, a floating deck, but also makes it more responsive in steering as well. So that's, that's a key difference. All of our decks tilt up to 90 degrees. So you can see what we did there. We can now access the blades. We can also um, save some space on a trailer or when you're storing the machine as well. So that's another feature, a standard feature on all walker uh, decks. nice about the walker is it, it's accessible. You can get into places um, that you need to service or maintain. So everything is accessible. And you, you can see how the, the uh, drive system, the engine compartment, it's all accessible. This is our new B27i. It's an update to our B series. A great machine. We're using a, uh, an Ogura uh, soft start clutch. And, um, so it makes a couple of small changes. This is a 27 horse versus a 23 horse, which is currently in our B series. And um, 
Request a free demo at walker.com. That's where we're at. All right, guys. So, got a couple questions for him real quick. So, what kind of price point are we looking at for one of these machines that they're getting? This one, this the B27i is just under eleven thousand, about ten okay. nine. Okay. But um, there are some people that like our our new Business Model R, which okay. is um, about fifty nine hundred dollars. Wow. Okay. And um, that's again a uh, a new machine that we've released. It's got a forty two or forty eight inch deck on okay. it. It also has. Um, Really, the, all the same features that you have on a walker: tilt-up deck, board speed control, and steering lever combination. And uh, so again, it's a, it's the very same thing that you get. The essence of a walker um, at a lower uh, price tag. That's perfect. Yeah, for a lot of you new guys, that fifty-two hundred dollar price point, right? fifty-nine hundred dollar price point is definitely a really doable point over the ten thousand dollars for you new guys starting out. I know a lot of you guys do run these, and I know y'all love them. I haven't had a chance to run one. We'll see. I'll put a video out on it this summer. See if I can't get a demo. All right, guys. So we're here still at the National Farm Machinery Show here in Louisville, Kentucky. Well, I'm here with Grant with Grasshopper Mowers, and he's going to give us the rundown of the 526D front mount uh, mower here. Well, Cameron, we're going to go over the 526. We're going to start out at the front of the machine. It has a 26 horsepower engine with a 52 inch cutting deck. And the 526 has a unique ability being that it's a front mount, so you have a lot of trim capability with the machine. You also have the power pole up front. So, so power pole the deck up, you can clean it out, change the blades. It's also good for if you have to store it in the shed. It's a uh, belt driven PTO. It comes with a premium Cordura seat. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. We'll see you guys later.